Good morning, good morning, bon dia, sisters and brothers in Christ. Welcome to the Leeward Island District Devotional for today. We are Sister Violet Roseberg, Choir Director for Amsterdam, and Brother Thijs Duizer, musician, preacher on trial, and circuit steward of the Holland Circuit. This week's devotionals will all be presented by married couples as we seek to encourage a return to the family altar. The theme for this week's devotionals is Life's Lessons. Every day, the presenters will focus on how their life's experience highlight the message of God's Word. Today, we present New Life in Christ. Let us start today's devotional with prayer led by Sister Violet. Heavenly Father, we look up to you in these times of change and challenges. Allow us to have the courage to change our life for the better Lord. Allow all our burdens to be risen up to you as we know that you will see us through. Heavenly Father, bless us with love, strength, wisdom, health, courage, forgiveness, and a willingness to learn to change our lives for the better. Amen. Scripture reading supporting today's meditation is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the verses 16 and 17, where Paul writes to the church members of Corinth the following. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view, we no longer know him in that way. So, If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. 
Everything old has passed away. Look, new things have come into being. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How many of you have ever seen or experienced a miracle? The gospel is God's power to change someone from the inside out. He can do what no human effort or work can do. In 2 Corinthians 5, we just read, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. What this means is that those who become Christians become new persons. And they are not the same anymore, for the old life is gone, a new life has begun. Let me share a story with you. I came across recently. A converted cannibal was sitting by the fire cooking and reading his Bible when a scientist who studies human behavior walked by and said, Modern man has rejected that book. It is a pack of lies and you shouldn't waste your time reading it. The cannibal looked him over from head to toe and said, if it wasn't for this book, you would be on that fire. So now, sisters and brothers, that's a story of a changed life, don't you think? You'll never be the same again. You may be listening to this devotion as a nice and helpful person, but you and God know that there are forces beyond you influencing your life. Maybe there are habits and attitudes you want to break, but you can't. The key verse of today's meditation says we become a new creation. God changes you into his idea for you. God gives us the ability to submit our lives to his control rather than to be out of control. We are able to make choices beyond self-preservation and self-promotion. We are free to be the fulfillment of God's idea for us. How does God change us? Well, first of all, he encourages us. We read in John 15:9, Abide in my love. As followers of Christ, we long to grow in godliness, but we often find ourselves stuck. Sin runs deep. We continue to fail and we are easily tempted to give up. But it doesn't have to be that way. Because God gives you the power to conquer your problems. That doesn't mean they all go away. It just means you have the power to conquer them. He always leads us in triumph in Christ. A conqueror is one who overcomes by gaining control. And God's power changes your future. God changes our direction when we submit to him. We read in Jeremiah 29 verses 11 through 13, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Our eternity, my friends, is as bright as Jesus. Prepare for your future. Continuing to change. Read Lamentations 3, verses 21 to 25. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. My dear sisters and brothers, you can have an eternal fresh start and this is a great day 
for such a fresh start. How do you keep it up? It is by grace and faith. But you can get into position to receive grace and faith. First of all, master your Bible. That tells you the truth about God, you and others. Secondly, guard your heart and mind. In Proverbs 4, 23, we read from the Good News Bible, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Develop biblical convictions. An opinion is something you hold. A conviction is something that holds you. Settle who you are and what you believe. Live out your convictions. And lastly, hang around with other believers. Be with people who can help you get where you need to be. We should love everyone, but you can stay healthy being best buddies with some folks. Some people encourage you and some discourage you. Hook up somewhere where you can be encouraged and encourage others. Amen. Let us pray. Holy One, we declare change in our lives because we do not want to remain stagnant in our relationship with you. I pray against any fears that prevent us from embracing change because I know that you have commanded us to be strong and courageous. We will not be afraid. We will not be discouraged. For you, O oh God, will be with us as we experience the various transitions of life. Amen. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We love you, adore you, we bow down before you. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Son of God, we magnify you. Son of God, we magnify you. You saved us from sin, gave a new life within. Son of God, we magnify Holy Spirit, what a comfort you are. Holy Spirit, what a comfort you are. You lead us, you guide us, you dwell right inside us. Holy Spirit, what a comfort you are. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. And now, receive the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace now and all the days of your life. Amen.